Hey up, how are you doing? I hope you're well. My name's Dave Kay and you're watching the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel and it's absolutely chucking it down. Um, what a nightmare. Anyway, we've had some lovely weather over the past few weeks but uh, over the past few days I've never seen as much rain. It's absolutely rolling down the hill. Anyway, uh, moving on. The reason I want to talk to you today or to try and help you if I can is all about wheels. Uh, you can see I've got a few wheels behind me here. So this is a bit of a complicated um, issue. Well, it's not complicated. The choices are difficult because when you're looking for a pair of new wheels for your mountain bike, you just, you're absolutely bewildered by the amount of choice that's out there. And trying to, trying to find something that's really going to be good for what you want uh, to use them for is really difficult. And I think, um, I think a little bit of knowledge is needed really on what, uh, what's out there. Uh, why would you choose a, a set of wheels over another set of wheels? Are they going to be good for my bike? Do I need strong ones? Do I need light ones? The whole thing's a little bit of a nightmare. So I'm hoping I'm going to try and simplify a little bit for you. It's a big subject, uh, but it's something that uh, we're quite passionate about is wheels. Me in particular, um, I'm a wheel builder. 50% uh, of my business is building wheels. Uh, we, last year we built, uh, well, over the last 12 months, uh, we built just over two and a half thousand wheels. So there's a few reasons why you would buy a new pair of wheels for your mountain bike. It might be that you just want a new pair of wheels, you fancy a new pair, uh, your old ones are looking a bit tatty and you just fancy a new set. Um, it could be that uh, your other one's gone faulty, your, the free hub body's gone the, and you just, you need a new pair of wheels. One of the things that you need to consider when buying wheels is your budget. Uh, you really need to spend as much as you can within your budget that you've got on wheels. You do get what you pay for uh, and the more you spend within reason, the better set that you're going to get. Uh, the other thing uh, is what you're going to use your wheels for, how you're going to use them, where you're going to ride your bike, how much stick are you going to give your bike uh, and things like that are the other things that you need to consider. The other thing is uh, you will get a cheaper pair of wheels uh, of a, a factory set off the shelf. Um, generally speaking, factory wheels are, are a little bit cheaper than custom built wheels um, by quite a bit. For example, if you look at a pair of Hope Hoops, um, then you'll probably get them quite a bit cheaper than what you would if I built you a pair. Let's look at the choices that you need to make when you're out there looking for a pair of wheels, okay? <clears throat> so, if you've got in your budget round about between five and 600 quid in your budget for a new pair of wheels, then you should be able to get a decent set of custom built wheels for your bike. Whether they're 29ers or 27 and a half or whatever size you've got, you will get a decent set of wheels for, for your bike. If you're an aggressive trail rider, then you won't need to spend any more than that. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're a social canal rider, then you should be able to get them a little bit cheaper, depending on what rims that we build on. Okay, they're the main, thing, they're the main, main reasons that you wanna consider. If you wanna, if you wanna build on a pair of Chris King hubs, okay, uh, on a on a, a decent pair of Stan's rims, for example, <clears throat> you're looking at round about just over a grand, possibly a little bit more, uh, depending on which which hub you're going to go for, which Chris King you, can you're going to go for. Okay, so let's talk about spokes. We'll very briefly cover spokes. There's two main types of spokes that you need to be aware of: a plain gauge and a double butted. Okay. The plain gauge spoke is generally two millimetres from end to end. The double butted spoke is generally thinner in the middle at 1.8 millimetres and it's two mil either end. The double butted spoke, in my view as a wheel builder, is a little bit of a better spoke because it gives a little bit more flexibility in that wheel. Okay, You can build a super strong wheel with a, wheel with a plain gauge spoke. Okay you'll find that bike, big bike manufacturers will tend to build their wheels with a, a plain gauge spoke 
It doesn't mean that it's an inferior wheel, but you'll generally find that plain gauge spokes are a lot cheaper, okay? I'm not saying that's the reason they use them, but they are actually cheaper. I would prefer to use a double butted spoke. There's two main manufacturers of spokes that we use. We don't use anything else, okay? We've got DT Swiss Competition, and we've got Sapim, okay? Sapim Race. They are both double butted spokes, a good quality stainless steel, well branded, and we don't use anything else. So what you need to check for, when you're looking at built wheels, is uh, what sort of spokes I've got. And you need a double butted spoke, um, either ideally either a DT Swiss Comp or a Sapim Race, okay? Either of one of those two is a good spoke to have in your wheel. Hubs. We briefly did uh, uh, a little bit of a, a versus video a couple of weeks ago on Hope Pro 4s against DT Swiss 350s. Um, both are particularly good hub and I would recommend any of those hubs, any of those two hubs on any of the wheels uh, that you want to build for your e-bike, your trail bike, uh, your uh, downhill bike, uh, either, of the, either of those hubs will be brilliant on your bike, okay? If it's, uh, uh, if it's an e-bike, I would personally prefer the DT Swiss 350 because of the engagement, but having said that, DT 350s you can only get in black, you'd not know colours, whereas the Hope you can get in loads of different colours. So it's a bit of a personal thing, they're both good hubs. But the main thing with any hub is you must make sure that you can get spare parts for them within a couple of days, okay? It's really important and they're easy to maintain, okay? That's the key with hubs, support, maintenance and the ease of spare parts, okay? Warranty. So uh, there are obviously other hubs on the market. There's Superstar, uh, there's Halo, uh, there's Shimano, uh, but really those are our two preferred hubs when we're building uh, when we're building wheels. There are Chris Kings. If you've got a spare grand and a bit, then by all means have a look at Chris King. They're a lovely hub, uh, really really nice uh, and lovely to ride on. The the a super hub. Um, so yeah, any of those three. So that'll cover your hubs. Let's look at rims, okay? So this is the important bit. Well, they're all important, but uh, important in terms of where you're going to be riding your bike. So a customer says to me, I need some rims. Yes, you do. Uh, what have I get? Okay, where do you ride your bike? Do you ride trail centres? Are you aggressive? Are you downhill? Okay, now depending on what they say, I will aim for certain types of rims. So say for example they're an aggressive trail ride, they like trail centres, okay, odd jump, few drop-offs, okay, and um, they're an aggressive rider. Not that particularly heavy, okay, so 13, 14, 15 stone. I would recommend a, a, a set of different four, four rims, four or five rims, in that group I will recommend for that rider and that sort of riding. Um, firstly because we've built on them for years, all of them we've built, we've built hundreds and hundreds of each one, okay, and we've never, never had a problem with any of them. Okay, they are super strong, super light, um, well manufactured, the quality of, of the, uh, the aluminium is brilliant, the finish is good, okay, not super cheap, uh, 50, 60, 70, up to 100 quid uh, for a, a DT Swiss 511 um, or a Fortis. But generally speaking, you do get what you pay for with rims. So we'll look at either stands, uh, floors, Mark 3s, uh, EXs, okay, uh, a DT Swiss 511 or a 481 DT Swiss. An E13, okay, or a Hope, a Hope Fortis. Either, any of those rims is brilliant for trail riding and quite capable of doing quite a lot of downhill as well, okay? So they're your rims. So, putting, those, putting all those three together, 
you end up with a decent wheel, okay? You need to be spending round about, for a custom wheel, for a custom set of wheels, you need to be looking at round about 540 quid for a custom set of built wheels. That's if, if we build them. I don't know what other people charge, but generally that's what we're looking round about. Hope Pubs, DT Swiss on stands uh, and DT Swiss sapping spokes. That's what we generally look at. And we'll we'll obviously put them put them together tubeless for that as well. So, um, so yeah, depending on where you go, obviously prices vary. But that's what you're looking at. If you fancy a factory set a factory set of wheels, then I would recommend that you go through to Hope. Okay, we're a Hope dealer, so we can get them for you if you wish, or you can go through to another dealer. It's entirely up to you. But if you go for uh, a hope hoop, a set of hoops uh, from Hope, you'll get them uh, a little bit cheaper than 540 uh, for a set. Brilliant pair of wheels, a brilliant factory set of wheels. OK, and you won't go far wrong uh, with with Hope if you've got a bit of a lower budget uh, than 530, 540. Uh, you've got a choice of Fortis 35s, which we've got one here. That's the 35, okay. Quite a, a wide rim tech, uh, quite a diff number of, set of different numbers of tyres. Uh, two fives, two fours, two sixes, two eights, uh, possibly a three as well. They'll go on there. Lovely rim, Fortis 35. They do uh, a good range of, of uh, rims and wheels. Uh, and we can put, if you want to, a DT Swiss uh, 350 or a 240 on a Fortus, then we can do that as well. Okay, so this is not a sales pitch, by the way. This is hopefully going to help you choose wheels in future because it can be a minefield. So just to, just to recap then, okay, you're looking for uh, a decent upgrade from the from the wheels that you've got on already. Okay, there's no point in in doing like a little bit of an upgrade uh, if you've got some decent wheels on your bike already, and you've and you've managed to get uh, an up an upgraded set of wheels as an option. Uh, I know Orange do that if you if you order a bike online, you can choose different uh, different wheels for that particular model. <clears throat> um, obviously the price goes up as, as the uh, the better wheel that you put on your bike so wheels are a brilliant upgrade from for your bike to be honest particularly if you've uh, bought a brilliant e-bike or or a great trail bike or an all mountain bike but you had to buy one with a lower spec to suit your budget and now you're able to put some money into it brakes and wheels are a brilliant upgrade for a bike okay so that's it really, um, I've ho I'm hoping I've made it a little bit easier for you uh, to try and uh, source a pair of wheels for yourself. Um, so if you need any, any advice or any help or anything like that, all you need to do is just bang us an email and I'll try and help you that way if you want. Um, or if you want a pair of wheels, we'll certainly build you them. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press that bell um, and uh, I'll see you soon. Toodle pip.